Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. There's a brand new metal slug coming out that's a little bit different than the others. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, today is the start of the second annual Summer Games Fest. It's kind of like E3 with a bunch of different game reveals. There's a ton of companies involved with Summer Games Fest. Here's the full list of them. There's gonna be more announcements coming. There were some pretty big announcements today. For example, Inner Sloth, they announced Among Us is getting a brand new hide and seek mode, as well as some additional roles. But the announcement that really got me excited was from Dot .emu. They're talking about a new metal slug that is a lot different than the others. Now, I'll leave a link to this trailer in the description below in case you want to check it out. Probably recommend checking it out because the game looks exciting. So Dot .emu, if you don't remember who they are, they did make Streets of Rage 4, so I'm fully expecting this game to be good as well. I mean, the animations look good, the graphics look good, they're doing a really good job at making this game feel like an authentic Metal Slug game, even though the gameplay is going to be vastly different. This game is not going to be a run and gun shoot 'em up, the one that you're used to. This is a tactical RPG with roguelike elements. Pacing on this one does look a little bit slower. Well, it's a completely different type of game, but the characters are the same that you're used to with all of the other Metal Slug games. Now, just for reference here, I haven't seen any information about what consoles Metal Slug Tactics will be available on. I would assume all of them, considering Streets of Rage 4 made the round, but at the same time here, we only have the Steam listing, and these are two different parent companies. We have SNK with Metal Slug and Sega for Streets of Rage 4. So things might differ just a little bit, like price. If we take a look at the Steam listing here, we can see the release date is listed at TBA, so we don't know when this is coming out and we don't know what it's going to cost. I would assume probably similar to Streets of Rage 4, but again, two different parent companies, so maybe not. You can add it to your wish list though, if you're interested. But scrolling down the page here, and we can learn more about the game. So it says tactical RPG with roguelike elements. Experience the iconic dynamic battles of the Metal Slug series with a brand new perspective. Build up your adrenaline bar to unlock super attacks and use them wisely. Gain some precious war experience after each battle and unlock weapons or bonus perks to upgrade your team's firepower. It looks like you'll be able to assemble your own team here, so I'm guessing there can be some very different team dynamics based on who you choose. And if we go down, it says, fight your way to victory. Ending the war won't be easy. Many challenges await. Prepare to die again and again, but never give up. Play and replay your favorite missions as much as you want. Use the skills you acquire through each battle you have won so far to take down your enemies. Now there is something interesting about this, and if I scroll up a little bit, or is it scroll down? I think it's scroll down where I saw it. Well, let's just go over it here. Uh, features, here we go. Experience huge replayability with procedurally generated missions layout. So this seems interesting. It doesn't seem like these are going to be the same levels every time you play. It seems like they might differ just a little bit. It also looks like we'll be able to play against some old Metal Slug bosses, and that's something to look forward to. Looking at the system requirements here, so you will need at least Windows 7. I don't know many people who are still running that, but at the same time, Windows 7 and Intel Core i5-3470 or AMD FX-8370. So this is good news because if you have a fairly dated PC, well, you should be able to run this game. The minimum graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 or an AMD Radeon HD 7770, 7770. Anyways here, these are fairly dated components. I mean, some people are still rocking them and pushing them to their limits. But at the same time here, to be able to play this game, I don't think you'll need that powerful of a computer. After watching the trailer a bunch of times, I think Dottie did a really good job presenting this game. I mean, the animations here look really, really good. It brings back a ton of nostalgia. And the graphics for the games here, they did a really good job at trying to stay tried and true to the original Metal Slug look. I mean, yeah, it's obviously gonna be different because this is not a side-scrolling run and gun, but at the same time here, there are elements like this does look like a Metal Slug game. Now, if you have never played a non-traditional Metal Slug game and you're wondering, hey, is a tactical RPG actually going to work? I'd recommend picking up an Android device and checking out Metal Slug Attack or Metal Slug Defense. These are two completely non-traditional Metal Slug games and they're very, very successful. 
Metal Slug Defense has over 29 million downloads. Metal Slug Attack has over 19 million downloads. To say they're popular would be a bit of an understatement. After how awesome Streets of Rage 4 was, I have full confidence in .emu. I'm hoping that Metal Slug Tactics turns out awesome as well. I'm kind of expecting it and hopefully I don't get let down. I'll have my fingers crossed here. Anyways, that is all I've got for today. Just something I am extremely excited about, something I wanted to talk about and share. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about Metal Slug Tactics and Dottie Me running with the show here. Let me know your thoughts about this non-traditional Metal Slug game. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.